Take it. Take it. Take it. Hey guys, I know I'm a horrible person. I missed Friday. Honestly, it was such a busy week for me and this upcoming week is going to be super busy for me as well but I'm hoping today being Saturday isn't too bad for you guys um so yeah I'm sorry I skipped Friday but we're I'm still posting something right anyway today we're going to be discussing the sacrament and this is something that I saw a little while ago but it stuck out so much in my mind that I had to review it even if it's been a few weeks since I've seen it and it actually I'm glad I waited to review this instead of reviewing it right off the bat because initially when I watched it I thought it was kind of cheesy still disturbing but kind of cheesy basically it's about this uh family and a f i think they're with reporters so this is the problem with waiting a few weeks to review it because then i forget everything this guy's going to visit his sister at this what's it called compound and then i don't remember if they did say it was in africa um if you know the story of the people's temple uh with jim jones then this will be a very familiar tale to you and you know what happens Basically, I okay, that's one thing that bugged me is that it's a ripoff of the People's Temple, even though the People's Temple was real life, um, and this is a movie very, very similar to it. They never gave credit or, like said, based on true events or based on the People's Temple or anything like that. They didn't say, they didn't give credit. <laughs> they didn't say anything, so maybe they did, in, you know, online somewhere or something, but that bugged me. So the People's Temple, I'll just give you a rundown on that. Basically there was this guy named Jim Jones who created a cult and had a huge following, over 900 people, and he decided to move his compound. It actually was based in Northern California, which is where I'm from, um, where I live now, which is weird. I think it was in the Bay Area and he decided to move it to Africa. And then, if you've ever heard the phrase, uh, drink the Kool-Aid, it's originated from the People's Temple. Basically, he said that if they all drink this Kool-Aid with arsenic in it, um, they would be taken up on a spaceship by Jesus or something. It was weird. It was like they would, Jesus would come and they would be saved. It was, you know, a religious belief like that. So over 900 people committed suicide. There's pictures and just horrific, I mean, it was just horrific. So this movie is basically a ripoff, a spinoff of that story. So this brother goes to visit his sister who has moved to this compound and she's just promoting it like crazy. She's like, I'm so happy here. It's so beautiful. You wouldn't even believe like such a simple life. It's so nice. But then they start to think that it's kind of weird. Like something's weird about it. Um, basically they want an interview with the main guy. Um, the leader and so they get one so this movie i think it's a little slow getting started i think that they could have moved it along a little bit faster um and it had original qualities because obviously it's a hollywood version of something that happened in reality so it definitely had its own you know version of the story and added a few extra things in there um but the general idea was very similar so just the concept alone is going to be very disturbing which i loved and like i said i'm glad i waited because when i first saw it i was just kind of disappointed in it um but now that i've seen it i think it's really good or now that i've like waited it's on netflix i think it's still on netflix it was a while ago um but i haven't seen it since so correct me if i'm wrong if they've taken it down but I really enjoyed it and when it gets towards when things start happening it's very fast paced and just things just go down and it's really cool the way things do go down. I wish it was a little bit more horrific because the concept you think of it as something very disturbing but they didn't take it as far as I thought they were going to once I knew what the idea was behind it. But other than that it's a very subtly disturbing, well towards the end it's a little bit more disturbing. Um, actually now that I think about it it was pretty disturbing. <laughs> Definitely give it a try if you haven't seen it um, and if you like the story of the People's Temple or if you've never heard of it give this movie a try. I think it's pretty cool. Not everybody's gonna love it. It's definitely one of those where you love it or hate it or you're just kind of eh about it. Um, but I definitely like it now that I've waited. 
Like, I would watch it again. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. Um, let me know what other movies you want me to review here on this channel and what kind of list. I'm making updated lists for my most disturbing films and my top 10 films, uh, horror films. I'm making updated lists of both those things, so those will be coming soon um, once I, like, brainstorm a little bit more. So look forward to those. And if you can think of anything else you want me to add to this channel, any more content lists, reviews, reacts, whatever you want to see on here, leave them down below. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. It must be crossed.